Can you find it? No, I haven't found it. Well, it may not even be back there. Look in that side, side thing. Well, then somebody's gotten them out. Seriously, we're not living right. Just not living right. This morning I decided I'll read another chapter of the book because I've been working on the book. And I'll read another chapter for you guys. And I could not find the thing to set the camera up. So I just made me a little makeshift tower so that I could get it high enough that I didn't look like I had 45 chins. Then the laptop froze. It's an old laptop. It just have to work until I can one day, I don't know, get rich. 15 minutes later, I was able to open it back up and start reading. So I'm kind of pushing it on the time. I have, you know, we get in the car. Now I gather up the little mini M&Ms. Oh, it looks like he found the jump cables. Hallelujah. Um, I get the little mini M&Ms just in case Cliff decides he is not going to go into Sunday school. Because he's done that before. And and we've already had the conversation where, you know, we have two church services. One at 9, 31, 11. Well, a couple of days ago when I said, okay, we're going to church. Dad will um, treat y'all to supper, uh, lunch afterwards. Well, Becca needs to go to the 11 o'clock service, which is fine with us. But Eli, he needs to go to the 9.30 service. And he had already told his friend who is opening up a restaurant in Purvis, he said, yeah, I'll be there. So he, Eli was like, okay, can we go down to Purvis to eat lunch at this place? Since I've already told him I'd be there. But that's fine. And then Eli's like, well, I need to go to the 930 service. Well, it was 915 when Eli decided to tell us that. So I don't know if Eli's going or not. But we get out here in the car. It will not crank. Now, Chris and Clifford went to the donut place on Saturday morning. And apparently ADD left my door open left it cracked because he does not know how to shut a door i don't know what it is i don't know if it's add or if, or what it is but he doesn't shut doors he just it's not his thing but i still love him it's either that or little man has left that light on right here on this thing he does that i don't know why he fiddles with those buttons but chances are it's one or the other well my uh jumper cables keep, I keep i keep it in the back because i have a emergency bag back there only we couldn't get the back door the back hatch open because the uh there's not enough power oh i just got a message that tells for me rebecca them's on the way to church guess I'll text her back and say we're still in the, still in the carport <sighs> Satan get behind me get behind me I don't know why this is I don't know why this is we not living right I just FaceTimed Rebecca and told her I said either your daddy left the door cracked or Cliff left the little light on I said but we still in the we still here. We may have to take the work truck, but I am going to church. Mark my word. Yeah, he's tinkering with the jumper cables now. But anyway, my jumper cables were back there and we couldn't get the back door open because there's not enough juice to go all the way back there. To open. I couldn't get the second doors open either. I had to do that from the inside. Oh, 
I just heard a beep. Something happened. We may be late, but we going to church. Mark my word, we going to church. It cranked, finally. He's jumping in the car. We headed to church. See y'all, Becca and them's already made it to church. They'll save us a seat. All right, see ya. I can't go back to church. <laughs> I can't. Whoa. You gonna stop? No. I was just thinking I will go back to church. Let me tell you, I not pride myself, but I try my best to always be prepared. I got my safety bag. I got my um, first aid kit, some extra bottles of water. I got a little pantry. So this morning, when I was headed out the door, I said, let me grab a bag of M&Ms, mini M&Ms just in case one of the children have a moment where they don't want to go to Sunday school. Now, I should know better. Juniper loves to go anywhere. But once Cliff had a bad moment and he decided he didn't want to stay in Sunday school. And today, apparently, he had another moment like that. So, we get like we're there late, you know, because of the car situation. And there sits my children. We're in the um, the overflow section because you know we have a big service. I don't know how many people I come. Know, I don't know, but we have two overflow sections, and we like to sit in the overflow mainly because he has ADD, and if he needs to stand up, he can stand up. Blame it on me, huh? <laughs> well, we can sit in the middle of the church. You, don't, you have to get up more than I, I do. I do. So anyway, that's where we were, and we sat there, and a few seconds later, oh, well, I don't know, 15 minutes later, I guess, I turn around, and I notice Rebecca's not there. Well, she had, had to go get Cliff. He was not having a good moment. Oh my goodness, I think he's asleep. He is. He is asleep. Oh my goodness, we're going to eat. So, anyway, um, Cliff comes out, and because I am prepared, I have those mini, this giant bag of mini M&Ms, a jumbo bag. And I give him just a few, seven, eight. Well, he's mad because he got left in Sunday school, and he's playing with them, and he drops three on the ground, so I just move them out of the way. He's not going to drop them on the ground. Not on my watch. Not in church. God's watching. So anyway, he decides that he wants them, so he slides them back. He eats them. He gets another little handful, five, six, seven, just little M&Ms. But he's not going to play with them, and he's not going to drop them on the ground. Not on my watch. I have you know... That bag of 1,000 mini M&M's fell out of my lap onto the floor. I kid you not. I hear a roar of laughter. I am horrified. People, there was a lady who has a tag on, and I know she was a volunteer because I used to wear the tag, so I know what that tag is. She comes and she gets on her hands and knees. My children are on their hands and knees. Chris is on his hands and knees. The service is still going. It's still going on. I am humilified. It is because I told Cliff, you will not spill them M&Ms on the floor. This is God's house. And then I did it. I can't, I can't go back. I, I don't, it took them a while to get, we had to move the table because it was under the table legs. Oh, it was just horrible, wasn't it? No, it was funny to me. <clears throat> so, anyway, he was walking out of the church a while ago. <clears throat> Eli was walking with us, and, and I said, well, I just can't go back. I'm horrified. He said, what do you mean? You mean because of the great M&M explosion. explosion of 
2024. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, y'all. I'm so embarrassed. But didn't bother me either. Yeah. And they're all on the floor in their preachers. Let's bow our head for a word, word of prayer. I bowed my head. One, I can't get down there to get them M&Ms. Not with this knee. But then you hear everybody taking their handfuls of M&Ms and putting it in a paper cup. Click, 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 click. You know, because I was. It was hundreds of M&Ms, wasn't it? Filled up one of them six ounce cups. It filled up a cup. That's how many was on the ground. Good stars. Now this person's gonna have to move because we gotta go to church. I mean, go to lunch. And Eli's gotta go to work. Well, baby, I can't make him move. Oh, I didn't say anything. This whole day has been one of those get behind me, Satan, because it's been like some. It's been. It's been something. It's one thing after another, hasn't it? It hasn't been for me. Well, maybe you're the problem. We need to read up. What do you mean? You. I'm the problem. I haven't done anything. Well, apparently, I'm living your karma. I didn't think we was going to make it to church. I really didn't think we was going to make it to church. You didn't listen much in church about having peace. About peace. I know it was about peace. It's hard to be a peaceful when you just glittered the whole floor with colorful M&Ms. I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed. Well, we finished lunch. Eli ran off to the work. Had to be jumped off again. This is us. This is the Baylesses. We are not living right. Just not living right. <laughs> Could this be the most chaotic day? I don't. I, I was just telling them chaos at her house. We we were. She and I were going to Sam's. Juniper threw up on the table in the in the cafe, cafe right there. Threw up on the table. We just got on a do not enter list for this restaurant. <laughs> And they're looking out the window like, yeah, now yeah. they're stuck here. <laughs> I literally, literally got in my wallet and pulled out five more dollars for the tip. I then, I stepped on a, then I stepped on a cracker on the way. <laughs> and I was like, I got to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, how do you recover from throw up on the table? You know what you do? You drop a glass of tea on the floor. <sighs> and they have to bring a mop. Well, did you talk talk about spilling the mini M and M's in church? I did. Because <laughs> that I don't know what's worse. I'm so embarrassed. The three hundred and fifty mini M and M's right at the beginning of prayer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, these people are, they're looking out. Oh my gosh. Well. <laughs> that open sign's about to be flipped over to closed <laughs> real quick. I know. And this is people that Eli knows. He will never invite us back to lunch. Never invite us back. I think we're going home. I think we're going home. We are not going to Sam's. I left mother's clothes sitting at the house. So needless to say, I left her clothes. I washed them, dried them, folded them, and left them. All right. I'll tell y'all later. I think we're going to call it a day. <laughs> Probably best. We've been plagued by some, I don't know what. This day? <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Let's go home and wrap ourselves in a bubble. <laughs> so you think the car is just the... I, I, the I think the door got it shut all the way and the light stayed on because I hadn't moved my car since Saturday morning. They went out and got donuts. So I think that's what happened in the battery. Just The light just sucked the battery dry or whatever it does. So yep. we, we charged it up. I mean, jumped, it, jumped it up. Jumped it off. Jumped it off. And yep. went to church and it cranked right up the bat. And then we go to this 
restaurant that we was trying to get out of Dodge so that they would just forget about us. <laughs> and we stuck right there at the front door. For two minutes. Oh, it felt like it was longer than two minutes. But needless to say, well, we're back. I'm glad you threw the jumper cables in my, because I don't know where mine are. It's not like I used them. Somebody's borrowed them and not put them back. Probably so. Probably so. Yep. Looks like Juniper may be sick. And she she had, uh, you know, she's, going, she's in the production of uh, The Nutcracker. And she had... Uh, a photo shoot today and we were going Rebecca and I were going to go to Sam's and the boys were going to go on home but we had to cancel Sam's and cancel the photo shoot yep of course Cliff was all over all over Chris today yep. and not only that Cliff took a great oh this was before the throw up incident Cliff took a grape and he sliced it with his plastic knife into uh, several little pieces and gave it to all of us. We're going to come down with this mess. I know we are. I know we are. We can't go back to that restaurant. It was good. It's called Petunia's Barbecue. But on Sunday they have brunch. It was good. The, cast, the hash brown casserole was really good. And Eli got biscuit and gravy. And we had fruit. And Nathan had uh, sliced beef brisket with scrambled eggs. And they had cheesy grits. And the kids had some curly french fries. It was good. Can't go back. But it was good. say anything you need to add anything before I shut this thing down because when I get home I'm taking these clothes off and I'm putting my moo moo dress on and I'm gonna turn on some homesteading oh speaking of homesteading okay now here in South Mississippi we don't have a basement we don't have a cold room or cellar but how do people in South Mississippi store their potatoes over the over the uh, winter. I remember they used to bank them under the house and pines grow. I know I remember one time sweet potatoes more than potatoes. Daddy got some potatoes. We dug them up from a garden. That's probably one of those times Billy was hired out as a sharecropper. <laughs> <laughs> he had to, had to work the garden and he got some potatoes in return. So I remember under the trailer because our trailer was uh skirted in and dad had a board down there and he put he put uh those potatoes down but i think it was straw or pine straw or pine straw. something or, or hay yeah you know, something i don't know and i remember that but i don't i don't remember anything else about it i'll have to ask mother maybe she'll remember if they um stored okay i know you can they can't be touching but everybody on these homestead and things, are, they keep their, Janice keeps her squash, her spaghetti squash, and there's another kind of squash she keeps in there. And um, she keeps apples in there and potatoes. And, and I thought. Well, they don't have 100% humidity and 100 degrees ever day. I know, I don't think, I, I think it's too hot for us to do it right now, isn't it? I mean, we'd have to dig down to China to get it cool in the ground. <laughs> no, we don't do that. I guess it's probably safe to buy just buy my potatoes. Yeah. Boy. He, he had a big hill or something you might can dig with the cellar and sit there. You'd have to drain it real good. Yeah. I don't know. But, you know, typically here you dig a foot in the ground most of the year. Right now, though, no, it's a little dry right now. 90% of the year you dig a foot, foot and a half and you hit water. You hit water. Yeah, I guess I'll just not worry about banking potatoes. <laughs> yep. Alright.
right. I guess that's it. Talk to y'all later. Like, subscribe, share. Remember, build the camp back.